Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on acetabular fracture. The acetabulum is this yellow structure here. It is a cuplic depression located on the inferolateral aspect of the pelvis. It articulates with the head of the femur to form the hip joint. An acetabular fracture usually follows a high-energy injury, such as a road traffic collision or a significant fall from height. Clinical Features Patients will present with significant pain and swelling following the initial injury, with an inability to weight bear. Associated injuries are common with pelvic fractures, including associated hip dislocations or femoral neck fractures. Check the neurovascular status of both limbs during the assessment. Check for any evidence of open fracture and assess the condition of the overlying skin for any Morella Valle lesions. Investigations Plain film radiographs should initially be performed in suspected cases of acetabular fractures with anteroposterior view and Jude view. In trauma setting, CT scan can be done. This is a plain X ray and anteroposterior view, showing an acetabular fracture. For classification, the Jude and Laternal classification for acetabular fractures groups acetabular fractures into two groups, either elementary fractures or associated fractures. For management, initial management of a patient with high-energy trauma follows the ATLS guidelines and should always begin with a primary survey to identify life-threatening injuries. In contrast, pelvic ring injuries, major hemorrhage is unusual and a pelvic binder is not indicated. Any associated hip dislocation should be reduced urgently if there is significant joint incongruity to help minimize further damage to the acetabulum. Undisplaced or minimally displaced acetabular fractures can be managed conservatively with protected weight bearing for 6 to 8 weeks. For surgical management, in young patients with displaced fractures, surgery is usually performed to restore the anatomy of the joint surface and pelvic stability. In more elderly patients, fracture fixation may be performed as a precursor to total hip replacement. There are many surgical approaches to the acetabulum, the choice which is determined by the fracture pattern. As a general rule, anterior approaches are used for fractures with more anterior displacement, and posterior approaches are used for fractures with more posterior displacement. For complications, complications following acetabular fractures include secondary osteoarthritis and venous thromboembolism. Nerve injury, mainly to the sciatic or obturator nerves, is fortunately less common. That's all for this video. Thank you.